So this is the Tactical Ice Cream Unit. It's a project from the Center for Tactical Magic. And this particular Tactical Ice Cream Unit is a combination of ice cream truck meets uh, hot rod, meets SWAT van, meets uh, mobile activist command center. We're basically uh, working with a, a mobile architecture of sorts that allows us to travel, um, move around the country, and distribute uh, usually ice cream and righteous propaganda that you see on this menu here. So uh, people will come up to the window, they'll look at the menu, they'll see uh, treats for the streets on one side and food for thought on the other, and they'll get to pick a, a flavor of each. So for example, they might say, uh, I like strawberry and uh, mass media. And we'll give them a fact sheet from an organization that works on mass media issues, and uh, we'll give them a strawberry fruit juice bar. Now every once in a while we get somebody who comes up and they're a little bit whiny and they say, uh, you know, they look at the list of menu items there and they say maybe anarchy. And they say, I don't like anarchy. And I say, well that's fine, not everybody likes vanilla either. Just pick a flavor that you like. And then they look and they say, okay, uh, well I'll have a fudge pop and uh, maybe know your rights. And they go on their merry way. But of course we're equipped for all sorts of uh, activities. So why don't you come inside and take a look and I'll show you what we've got going on. So right here is our cockpit. Uh, this is where we navigate the tactical ice cream unit, or Tiku as we call it. Uh, we've got a lot of controls here, a lot of ability to both blast some jams and uh, also scan or monitor the police. We've got a GPS navigation system uh, so that we can work around uh, the city and figure out where exactly we're going, where we need to be, when we need to be there. And uh, basically this is sort of, a, of the, the forward control center. As we move a little bit further back, we end up here, which is uh, really just our ice cream novelty area. This is where we store most of the ice cream in this freezer down here. Uh, we've also got fresh water for people. Uh, if they come up and they need a little bit of refreshment, they can get some water from us too. Um, plenty of ice cream for people, all sorts of uh, natural juice bars, uh, always a vegan variety, and uh, you know some, some more healthy varieties along with uh, your typical uh, bomb pops and that sort of thing. Um, I'm particularly always fond of serving a, a red, white, and blue treat named after a weapon of mass destruction, uh, if that's what flavor people like. But of course, it's, it's a free country and it's a free choice. So in here, uh, we have a number of different uniforms that we could use depending on, um, on, on what we're called in to do. Uh, oops, it looks like uh, we left some Kevlar body armor in there. Uh, hopefully we won't be needing that anytime soon. Uh, but we also have uh, lots of tools if we happen upon uh, stranded motorists or people who need assistance. Um, this of course also uh, folds out to create a little bit of a, a changing room. So if we uh, need to jump into action, we're prepared for that as well. Now as we come back to this area, uh, a couple of things to take notice of. Uh, we can blast a little bit of bass out of here, or subwoofer. And this right here is our scout ship. Uh, this is a mobile unit that we deploy out this ramp door in case uh, the tactical ice cream unit uh, itself can't navigate into a tight area within the city. Uh, in that case, the mobile ice cream unit, the cart here, can uh, launch out the door. We've got a, uh, a military surplus uh, mobile sound system in the base, so we can blast some jams out of there as well. And um, currently, it's uh, right now, it's set up be deployed in case of uh, in case we happen upon uh, a civil uprising. Um, we can augment uh, whatever people's needs are if they come up to the ice cream truck and they need to uh, protect themselves from uh, dispersants or chemicals that might be lingering in the air, then uh, we're happy to provide that service as well. Um, now as you move a little bit further back, this of course is the serving window. This is where most of the interaction happens uh, between whoever is serving the ice cream at that time. And, uh, and the community who comes up looking for a little bit of uh, nourishment, some treats for the streets. And here we have the archive of, uh, of propaganda. Um, you'll notice that uh, each of these is pretty well filled to the max, but we're always adding new information from all sorts of community groups that are already trying to uh, dialogue with the community in different ways. We simply act as a, as a mobile info shop of sorts. We help distribute information that uh, community groups are already creating and trying to distribute throughout the community. Um, the only difference is uh, we tie it to uh, a tasty treat 
and people walk away with a little bit of food and a little bit of food for thought. As we move further back um, into our kitchen security complex, uh, you'll notice that um, we're pretty well equipped here with, uh, we've got a lot of different surveillance angles covered. Um, we're also uh, capable of monitoring the local authorities, uh, making sure that they're not uh, abusing their power in any sort of way or abusing other people's rights. So we can kind of keep tabs on the situation. Okay, so this truck started out as just a plain white uh, step van, like a FedEx style truck. Um, no windows, just the two front doors and a pretty beat up interior. Uh, we've done all the body work here, all the, the graphic design that you see on the outside. And uh, like I said, we're kind of playing with a mix of uh, kind of A-Team meets Mission Impossible meets uh, some radical politics in here. We're the Center for Tactical Magic and we don't quite believe in a, a binary analysis of sorts. Things aren't just black and white. So we've got uh, some other things going on here, this bright red star, uh, big golden fist, a little bit of power to the people there. Uh, ice cream cone on top with a little cherry bomb as a treat. As we move towards the front, a little bit of power pop. And this is kind of our MO in this situation. You can kind of think of the whole tactical ice cream unit as a, as a display of power pop. A little bit of pop culture, a little bit of pop art thrown in there, uh, and a whole lot of power. As we move back here, kind of one of the last graphic elements. From this side, again, the big red star and cool treats. To beat the heat. So as you can see, the tactical ice cream unit is uh, more than meets the eye. It's a vehicle for transformation, both literally and figuratively, where we kind of pop in, we do our thing, uh, we empower the community, and uh, kind of stroll along. The everything that we distribute out of the tactical ice cream unit is distributed free of charge, and uh, that's because we believe in a strategy of utopian potlatch. That means people come up, they get what they need as they need it, and uh, hopefully we come away with a, a better world because of it.